Now then my friends, um, if you saw yesterday's video then you will have seen that uh, I uh, was sent to hospital with a suspected heart attack and uh, I have some good news about that but I also have some bad news as well which I'll get into in a moment but first of all I just want to say how emotionally humbled I am at the thousands of get well messages that I've had. I've read through every one of them last night in bed and uh, I really am. I was very emotional about it and I can't thank you enough uh, and I read through every one of the messages. Um, now then I'll get into what's actually happened because I'm back in hospital later today uh, and I'll let you know exactly what's going on. Um, the symptoms that I had while I was over in America were similar to uh, a heart attack where I had pains in my chest, uh, difficulty breathing, pins and needles in my arm. Um, I found it and I still find it very difficult to walk. I can walk a few yards without getting out of breath uh, and literally just sweating. Um, so that's why when I got back here to the UK um, I rang uh, the doctors um, and they got me in straight away with literally about 10 minutes into the doctors and, um, and then the doctors referred me straight uh, to the hospital to the emergency uh, services ward. Uh, I have to say by the way uh, a massive thank you to the NHS and all the people at Kingsmill Hospital because they really have been fantastic they've been absolutely brilliant so I know some people uh, have uh, negative things to say about the NHS but I really cannot say enough good things about them they were fantastic um, so yesterday I went in and um, they got me straight in and performed a blood test on me um, after the blood test uh, they then sent me for a chest x-ray uh, when they x-rayed my chest I thought all oh, right okay everything seems to be going all right um, and then they came back to me again and said we need another blood test and um, so I went back for another blood test uh, and then the doctor came over and said um, well, that what I have is not a heart attack I have a, uh, a blood clot so uh, which is very very dangerous because if it moves uh, and goes into your brain then you can end up having a stroke and if it goes into your heart you can have a heart attack um, so they've put me at the moment on thinners on blood thinners and um, I go back in today in fact while you're watching this I'll be there having the uh, the test they're going to put a cannula in my arm and they're going to put um, dye throughout my body and then they're going to give me another scan to see exactly where this blood clot is uh, and then they'll take it from there and hopefully they'll be able to uh, I, I mean I've been trying to read stuff on the internet but then of what they can do with it but I try not to do that too much because it's speculating and it can always start worrying you so but the, but the NHS and Kingsmill Hospital will take it from there whether I get um, whether I've got to stay in or not, I'm not sure yet. We'll find out later. Hopefully the blood thinners as well. I've already taken my second one this morning and hopefully that'll start thinning my blood down. Um, it's uh, a little worrying, and um, but fingers crossed and, and keeping positive and saying onwards as I normally say, hopefully um, everything will be okay. Uh, so that's what's gonna happen. I'll keep you posted and keep you updated. And what goes on as I say while you're watching this I will actually be in Kingsmill Hospital having the uh, uh, the scan done so uh, fingers crossed and uh, uh, thank you again for all the wonderful messages uh, that, and, and support that you've given me and it really does mean uh, an awful lot uh, so thank you for watching uh, I will keep you posted as, as I say and um, hopefully we'll get back to normal videos eventually uh, I think I'll be eating a little, little, little bit healthier. Um, I don't know what's caused the clot. It could be many things that, that causes the clot, couldn't it? So um, it's just one of those things. And um, fingers crossed that I'll be okay. But once again, I have to say thank you so much to everybody out there for all the wonderful messages. And again, thank you uh, to our NHS and all the people at uh, Kingsmill Hospital. In fact, one of them, 
um, it was a viewer I think he was a you can actually pop it in the comment section down below I think he was a, a porter uh, and he said hi Lee you all right and I, at first I, I thought oh d do I know you or, but he obviously he watches the channel so there we go so I'm going to say hi to him as well thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one <laughs> fingers crossed uh, and um, th thanks again to everybody for all the messages and I'll see you later bye bye